Hey everyone, it's Cooper here, and I'm here with my friend Kevin. Hello. You'll see him in a little bit because he's filming right now, but we are at the Goodwill Outlet, and um, we're going to be making a video today, um, finally, for this channel. I haven't made any uh, since I moved back to Washington, so um, we might do a little bit of filming in there, and uh, afterwards, when we're loading up into the car, we're going to show you guys what we got, and then we're going to be heading to a few other thrift stores, so... Yeah, check it out. Good introduction for the first time everyone sees you. No, hey. <laughs> this is not my first introduction. It is. Well, here, can I actually do an introduction? As a sexy song. <laughs> Alright, so we're back at the car now. Uh, got some packages here to drop off, but... Uh, here's my car. I didn't get too much. Kevin got a bunch of stuff though, so we're gonna start by uh, showing you what he got first. Okay. I got a book for my anthropology. Well, two books for my anthropology teacher. Just sucking up never hurts, right? Um, I got some snowboarding boots. They're in really good condition. These should maybe get 60. Um, got a Mariner's windbreaker. I have another one of these at home. Um, I got a bunch of jeans, but I'm probably just going to skip over them. A lot of them are Wrangler and Levi's. Um, by weight here, they're pretty good. You can get them sold for like 20 bucks. So. More, three more pairs. Another. And I also got this. It's a... Uh, wool cape. It's a uh, James Pringle Weaver. Be on the lookout for this brand, especially if you can find a cape, because these are 50 to $60. Dollars. Um, no other ones have this kind of plaid coloring to them, so I might ask for a little bit more, see how that goes. I got some Caterpillar boots. Got really good sole, or rubber on the bottom, but a little bit worn. Should get 40 for those. It's a little windy, hopefully the sound quality is alright. Yeah, might be a... Oh, it's fine. cold out here. <laughs> I got a double XL windbreaker. It's specifically for golfers. Anything double XL, guys. Remember, the larger it is, the easier it is to sell. I got this thermos type thing. It's a brand by OK. Every single one I looked up that was OK, everyone said it was very rare. None have sold to have this design. It's got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but... um. Oh man, and there's actually a crack on it that I didn't notice. Who knows, um, might be worthless now, I don't know, but I might list it. Got a pair of Nikes that Cooper didn't want. Um, they're missing some part in the soles, but I think I might still be able to do something with them. When I looked those up, the cheapest ones were like 30, I think, or 35. Um, I got this fanny pack primarily because when you type in 90s fanny pack, which I feel is something that a lot of people would type in, Nothing with these, this coloration comes up until about $25. Um, I feel like I can list it at that and sell it. I think I was covering the mic. <laughs> so hopefully, okay. I don't know, hopefully it sounds alright for the first portion of this. This is a wool, full body um, underwear. I think that's what they were listing it as. Um, one is listed for $108. Um, a few have sold around that range, but it's... Stanfields, pretty good quality. Might try to get something similar or sell it low to flip it fast. By the way, Kevin is six six, right? Oh. So it's hard for me uh, to film. It's a little hard for me to film. I got to point yeah. the camera up. Um, I have this Sansa MP3 player. Probably not even gonna test it. Just put it up for ten bucks. The Powerpuff Girls pillow. Which so will be mine. Which will be Cooper's. I have another Pikachu pillow that I'm gonna trade him for some stuff. He's got a couch to furnish with some pillows. I got this for my girlfriend. So now some of you might be saying, wow, that's just crazy, but um, I like fun things like this on my lady. So <laughs> hopefully she likes it. She didn't actually get back to me, but it's gonna be at It's gonna be there for her if she wants it. A Wolverine shirt comic book um, hero, superhero shirts are pretty good. Anywhere in between maybe like 15 and 20. Some more jeans here. I think this is a pair of Wrangler. Wrangler, I don't know if I mentioned that brand. You did. did. 
I got this microphone here, which I almost didn't pick this up because when I saw it, I saw this part here and thought, oh, it's missing the the actual microphone that receives the sound. And I had a long cable, but Cooper pointed out on the other end, the microphone is here. So this component plugs in where, Cooper? This is what you plug the mic cable into. Mic cable into. I don't know how long the cable is, but um, I see them selling for, saw them selling for 80. Um, there's one listed for 100. And I also found this, which doesn't go with it, but it's a Sony case that can perfectly fit into. So I'll try to put that up for 100, see where that goes. That Sony case is probably for a car stereo faceplate kind of thing. That's what it looks like. Possibly. It's got a little foam insert there. It's the perfect size for one. Moving on, I got a Pocahontas. Um, Pillow case, case. Pillow cases of um, cartoons, anything movies, really, <laughs> almost anything, guys. Pick up bed sheets, pillowcases. They're really good flips. So here's that. I got this. It is a Supermatic two, and this, for those who don't know, is meant for rolling your own cigarettes. You uh, load it in there. And I had it working. There we go. And it pushes it out. So you'd put the cigarette over that tobacco in here and it just does it just like that really simple I think that's about $25 um, there are ones in the box that are going for 50 but I'll put it for 25 pad it up in a padded flat rate envelope and ship it off some more jeans this year I got a GameCube game Narnia it's complete another pair of Levi's this here was one of my favorite phones today. It's a Westinghouse, yes, a Westinghouse toaster. I saw one of these sold for 70 um, in about the same condition. It's got some scuffing, got some wear, but as long as it works, I'll try to get uh, $45, $50 for it maybe. Maybe I'll start there um, and put it in a flat rate, medium flat rate. Just get rid of it. Why so low if one sold for 70 there or whatever you said? There were others that sold um, for under that amount. The person probably got it because they put deco in the title. Guys, remember that if you're um, if you're doing anything with furnishings, like kitchen appliances, if it's old, put in keywords besides vintage. Put in deco. The people who are looking for that kind of stuff, sometimes they're a little bit smarter on the topic of old stuff. They might use words like deco or, um, well, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but just research your keywords. And what's that bag? <laughs> oh, this bag is for support. It's called a Nata chair. Um, I see some of these have sold for 30 just with this. Um, I'm just going to put it up for 20 and put it in a put it in a first class package. These here, they're pretty dirty, but these kinds of shoes, this brand is Vibram. Um, these should probably go for 30 to 40, even this used kind of dirty condition. I might give them a little bit of a cleaning. Disgusting. Um, but yeah, Cooper thought they're pretty disgusting, but someone will appreciate these. Who wants to buy used toe shoes? That just sounds like the worst know, thing in the world. I have it for them. Here's some sounds running awesome. shoes. They have the spikes in the bottom. Um, pretty good condition. So those, I think, were about like 35, 40. I don't remember all these prices, guys. Um, and I'm not too critical on being completely accurate. Uh, but I'm also not going overboard at, by any means. These Hitachi headphones, I see now that they're missing one of the plates there, but one sold for, I think it was 55. Um, I got this pair here by weight, probably 50 cents on that guy. Oh, it is so cold out here. Got a San Diego Zoo, what's this kind of hat called? Propeller hat. Propeller hat. <laughs> um, probably gonna try to get 20 bucks, 30 bucks for that. And this little hat here is around $30. This is just a $10 UV sanitizer charging station for a Sonicare. Got a cable that I snatched out of Cooper's hands to <laughs> put on a PS2 Slim power adapter. A Mickey Mouse tie. I'm gonna try. I didn't actually look this up, but it's got to be at least $10. Even if it's $6, I'll just throw it up and get rid of it. And to end it off, a dirty Jansport backpack that I will wash. If it doesn't clean up too well, it's going to go up for $18 about and be gone in a second. All right. Going to hand the camera off to him now so you can guys see what I got. And a Phoenix Suns hat. 
probably get like 15 <clears throat> to 20 with that. All right, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try and be a little quick because uh, when I was filming his stuff, my thing popped up and said 20% battery remaining. So you take this. All right, where's the take, microphone? I think the mic is somewhere over here. So just yeah, hold it like that. All right, so I didn't get that much. Uh, we usually stay all day. Uh, today we only stayed for what? They open at like eight, and when it's two o'clock, we're leaving. Um, we got Harvest Moon DS. It's complete. Um, that was two bucks which is dumb, they charged me a separate price for it. I got three strategy guides, Sly Cooper, Super Mario Bros. 3, and L.A. Noir. Those were a dollar each. Got a little uh, leapfrog game just to put in a bundle. There's my receipt. I got this uh, Fox, Fox Riders, it's called a Sasquatch hoodie. The inside is all filled with uh, fur here, and now I see there's a rip right here. <laughs> Which sucks, but... Oh, there's two rips. That's how it goes with the outlet. Well, Gotta be thorough. Anyway, I'll, I might be able to fix it, but... Um, there's no red ones that have sold, but other ones have sold for like 40 to 60, 70 bucks, so... Who knows if a red one is more desirable. I picked up three of these little, little container things just because I needed them. Put those in the back. I got two little, these little sheets of Pokemon stickers and tattoos. It's not really worth anything. Uh, I got a Pokemon t-shirt. Yoshi, Sonic. These kids are jealous of them. Got an independent beanie. That'll just be an easy sell at like 10 or 15. I got this Pachaco coin bank, which is from Hello Kitty, I believe. I looked it up. Um, there were there were banks. There were there were Pachaco banks, but none with this particular style. And I'll probably get like 30 bucks for that. Uh, I got a pair of Sony Sports Walkman radio headphones. I didn't even bother to look these up, but I brought batteries today. I brought brought a backpack with batteries and uh, screwdrivers and stuff. And I tested them. They work. I don't even know what they're worth. I know they're worth at least like 20 or 30. I also got a pair of Panasonic Shockwave headphones. Um, there's none of these listed by themselves, but I have some of the Shockwave uh, cassette players. Got a food saver. This is the Ultra, Food Saver Ultra. This is like 35, I think. Got a Keychain Simon game. Cheapest one is 13. Got a Skillet power adapter. I sold a few of those so far. Oh, she didn't even catch this one. I got Halo 2. Um, just the disc and the manual, but I have a case at home. She was supposed to charge me two bucks for that, but she didn't. I forgot it was in the cart, so I paid for it by weight. Also got a leap pad guide here for one of the little games. I just have a bunch of them. And then I got a whack-a-mole uh, handheld game. This is made by Marvel, and I found one of these last time we came, and they're worth like 20 bucks. Tested that, of course, it works. Got a Game Boy charger couple power cables. These are like universal, but they work for uh, PS2s and PS1s. Got a Tiger handheld game. Got a little Sony uh, radio Walkman. A Potato Baby. A Power Rangers toy, because I have some that I'm going to put in a lot. And an Advantalk Multipoint. This is for your car. To uh, It's Bluetooth and it hooks up to your phone, so it's like a wireless system, basically. Got a little Mario toy that Kevin gave me, and then a little tub of Legos here. Not many, not much, but I have a bunch at home. I always just add to it. And this little container, of course, but that's everything. And with uh, that, we filled the back of the Civic. But that's everything One trip. from the outlet, and we're going to some other places. We've got a Craigslist deal to do, and we're going to a bunch of other Goodwills. So, uh, yeah, that's it and, uh, for now. And we'll show you guys what we get at the next place. All right, so we just left a regular Goodwill store, not the outlet. And uh, this is one of our hidden spots that we just discovered. <laughs> it was only our second time here. But both times we have gotten amazing stuff. And I think the first time was a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we did get some good stuff. So first, I got four of these PS1 controllers. I'm not going to pull them all out. But I have a bunch of systems I need them for. Those are three bucks each. Also got a blue PS2 controller. Once again, three bucks. And there's a piece of plastic floating around inside there. 
I got a black nunchuck for four bucks. I normally would not pay that much because they're only worth like 10, but I just did a Craigslist deal, um, which I didn't show you guys. It's just some video game stuff, but I got a Wii with a black Wii remote and there was no nunchuck to match it, so I picked that one up for that reason. Got a Sony Walkman, Sony Discman, Panasonic CD player, a calculator here. It's called the Real Estate Master Qualifier Plus 2X. And that was three bucks. They go for like 20. And then I got this Franklin Spanish Master and it has a cartridge in here, Advanced Thesaurus, but it also came with this little book here that has the Franklin logo on it and it has three more cartridges. Um, sports, trivia game, word games, and this one says this cartridge is blank. So I guess it's only two cartridges and a cover. But is that everything? Oh no. Also got a little four gig Kobe MP3 player. But um Yeah, the the uh Franklin thing it goes for like twenty-five <clears throat> with with either one cartridge or no cartridge. And I can't I can't find just the cartridges on eBay, so I'm hoping that it's gonna add some value, but I'm not sure how much. And that's everything I got. I spent after, t uh, I guess there was no tax, but it was forty-one eighty-eight for everything. So let's move on. I'll, sh uh, I'll take the camera now and Kevin will show you what he got. Okay guys, hello. Uh, I got some stuff too, of course, and similar to what Cooper got, but um, nonetheless worth showing. The first thing that's not similar actually is a Lego clock. We got this one for five Goodwill dollars, and this one sells for, was it like 20? 20, 20 to, tw probably 25 is what you'll get. So, probably just throw it in a flat rate envelope, get rid of that. And when we say the prices of stuff, we are including shipping and stuff, because we, we normally do free shipping on everything. Yes. So it's, the cheapest one of those clocks posted is like 18 plus five or six dollar shipping. Mm -hmm. So we just say 25, you know, yeah. just so people understand we're not these aren't prices with shipping on top of that. Yeah, especially since they're smaller items, it would always be free shipping. Yeah, we mostly um, we mostly buy smaller items too. Yeah, it's kind of like I live with my parents and I keep my space in a really tiny garage, so I have to limit myself to smaller items a lot of the times, which is a good reason to stay away from those. Um, PS2 silver controller. Uh, I have a slim that I got at another Goodwill for ten bucks. This will go great with it. Uh, a Walkman. This one's three dollars, and it should go for twenty. A Panasonic player. This one is an MP3 player. These usually tend to be a little bit better than the other ones. Um, this one should go for around twenty. I think that was a little more. A little more. I think it was like twenty-five. Okay. Uh, this is a digital voice recorder. Um, before it was in the glass case, and before I bought it, I thought it was a micro cassette. Um, but that's pretty good because it just takes a triple A, I believe, and shouldn't have any problems working. Um, usually, micro cassette uh, recorders will work, but this has an even better chance. And it was five dollars. Um, Cooper said that maybe about forty. You know, if I'm lucky, I think three have sold right in there, the last ninety days. There's only four that have sold recently. One of them went for twenty-five. The other three all sold for forty. So there's a good look at it for you guys. It's an Olympus brand. Yep. Got a Sony voice recorder. Um, this one goes from anywhere in between 25 and 30. Uh, I didn't really look it over that well. I forget to always look over the items, but oh, this one was $3.99. I wanted to mention too that when we go to the outlet, it's kind of whatever you find you get, and we can trade stuff and all that, but when we come to regular Goodwills or garage sales or anything like that, we always try and split stuff up really evenly so mm -hmm. that we're each getting the same amount of value out of the trip so we're not in competition with each other. Yeah, it's much nicer that way. Yeah. Definitely. Um, here is a Sony, I think this is a car ready G protection one for $4. This one is about $19. And then this final item here is a Mini World 100 PE radio. I believe that means that it just has multiple bands. It looks like it actually has six bands there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. No, um, not really. But what did we see these go for again? About like 25? 25, 
I would say between 20 and 30, Yeah. but I think around 25. And also to note, um, a really good item to pick up that a lot of people skip over, anything Sony over like over two bands, it's going to be worth it. Um, they're usually black rectangles. That I guess it would it would resemble like kind of the shape of a VHS, except shorter and a little bit wider. Um, those are really good. You can find them for really cheap, and some of them even go up towards like $80 to $100. So keep your eyes out for those. Those are similar to those, and that's where when I learned about these. So anything with multiple bands is worth picking up. Pick these guys up. And that's it. All right, so we're going to head to a couple other Goodwills, I think. And um, if we find anything, we'll show you guys after we leave the stores. All right, guys, so um, as you can see, it's dark out. It is, uh, well, I don't know what time it is. It's almost 9 o'clock p.m. now, and uh, we've been out all day going to the thrift stores. We went to both, we went to two Goodwill outlets, we went to two regular Goodwills, and we went to a video game store. And um, we didn't film anything at the game store or the second outlet because we were in a rush. And um, at the game store, we were talking to our friends there, and... Um, we know the people that work there, so we were just kind of, you know, hanging out, and um, I did buy some stuff, but I'm not going to bother showing it to you guys, it's just a couple video games. Um, and we just left this last Goodwill, and they're about to close. <clears throat> Kevin had a couple returns he was making from a stop we made here last week, and I bought three PS2 controllers for $4 each, which is a little higher than I like to pay, but... Uh, one of them was a clear blue, one of them was a clear black, and one of them was just a regular black. But I already have listings made for the clear blue and the clear black ones. I just posted them last night, actually. So it's easy enough for me to go in and update the quantity to two now instead of one. And the black and the blue ones are worth a little, you know, a decent amount, 13 14 bucks. I came out to the car when Kevin was still checking out. He bought this mannequin here to list his... Uh, Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> to list his clothes and everything. Hell yeah, I did. And But that was everything we got here. So, now we're going to go to Muchas Gracias, which yeah. is a Mexican restaurant here in the Northwest. And a staple of our diets. Yes, we love to get organ burritos. They are so good. So we're going to go there, get some food, and then I'm dropping Kevin off at his house, and that's it for our hunting day. And, uh... Tomorrow, I have a Craigslist deal to do, and I'm going to be lifting all day. Um, if I remember, I'll try to make a video about something. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. But by the time you guys see this this video, it will probably be Sunday already. I'm going to edit it, try to edit it tonight if I have time, and then just upload it overnight. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking the video and subscribing and Kevin thanks you for meeting him yeah. <laughs> and welcoming him to the channel he's gonna be in a lot of videos because we go hunting together pretty much every time we go oh yeah so that's it hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video